On this board there are four decoupling capacitors in parallel and if one went short circuit it wouldn't be that easy to tell which one it was. You could use your digital meter to measure across each capacitor in turn to find out which was short but as they're in parallel you'll need a meter with a resolution of milli or micro ohms. Now my meter can only resolve resistance to a tenth of an ohm. And what about the test leads? When I tried to measure a 1 ohm resistor, it reads 1.1 ohms. And shorting the leads shows the extra tenth of an ohm was due to the test leads. This test lead problem was solved back in the 1860s with Lord Kelvin's four-wire method. There are some good descriptions on the web, but basically we use one pair of wires to supply a known current through the resistance and a second pair to measure the voltage. Then we can calculate the resistance using Ohm's law. Take a look at my video of how I made a set of Kelvin four wire probes from upcycled household items. Using Kelvin's method, I made a simple adapter for my meter. You can make this simple adapter with just a couple of components. The 50 ohm resistor is large compared to the short circuit we're looking for. So it tends to act like a constant current source of 100 milliamps. And the Schottky diode limits the test voltage to somewhere around 300-ish millivolts so as not to damage other components you may test. To use the adapter, measure the millivolts and multiply by 10 to calculate the resistance in milliohms. You multiply by 10 as the test current is a tenth of an amp. This 1 ohm resistor shows 103.6 millivolts. Multiplying by 10 gives you 1036 milliohms, which is 1.036 ohms. Let's make another measurement. The 0.1 millivolts indicates a resistance of 1 milliohm. Notice here that the meter's rightmost digit will provide a resolution of 100 microohms. Building the adapter was easy. I used the plug from an old USB stick and a bit of matrix board to mount the components. Then I wrapped the whole lot up in heat shrink sleeving. So there we have it, a cheap, cheerful way to find that elusive short circuit.